in the girls game. Sports highlights are limited, brought to you by Hindu Productions. David Brocks. Got Mark Snyder on the board tonight, producing this effort. We've got our starter starters here for Pirates Megan Woolley. Jessica Wayne, Connor Shriver, Sydney Mansall, and Tori Webb for the Bobcats. Amber Garver, Samantha Rutherford, Kara Stevens, Jamie Johnson. We'll check the last starter here, number 34, Victoria Smith. Our first visit here to Piper, Kansas here at basketball season. We were here a number of times during football season, their big run through the playoffs. An exciting regular season football game here against Bonner Springs. We're about set for tip. Getting real excited about this all-star game we got coming up March 29th. We'll see a couple of these ladies here, I'm sure. Jamie Johnson, senior leader here for the Bobcats. Sydney Mansaw, Connor Shriver, senior for the Pirates. Tip is controlled by the Bobcats. Jamie Johnson will get us started here against the man-to-man -man defense by Piper. Off the screen, Amber Garber to the basket to get foul. Foul is called on Sydney Mansell for her first foul. First free throw on the way is good. Second free throw on the way and good. Wayne takes it, drives baseline. Back out top to Mansaw. Reset man to man defense by the Bobcats as well. Jump shot on the way is long, no good. Rebound offensive by the Pirates. Baseline drive and pull up jump shot is no good. Rebounded out top by the Bobcats, Kara Stevens. We didn't see Kara in that matchup between Bishop Ward a few weeks ago. Jamie Johnson all the way to the basket, no good. Claims her own offensive rebound. Jump shot on the way is long. Jessica Wayne. Turn around in the lane is no good. Freshman having a big season here for the Pirates. Much improved this year under Coach Shane Stout. We pick up another block foul on number 23. Tori Webb picks up her first foul. Jamie Johnson all the way to the basket. Getting real aggressive, getting into the lane. Another foul there, quick on Webb, and Coach Dow to have to go to his bench. Harley's work. Second free throw on the way. No good, rebound, Piper. Zwart gets a rebound as she enters the game. Woolley, jump shot, no good, off rim. 
scramble in the lane. We got a tie up. Jump ball. Piper will keep the ball on the alternate possession. Mansall triggers it in. Mansall trap back out top. Johnson gets called on the reach in. Mansall again triggers in. Out top to Wayne, stolen by Stevens. Amber Garber pushes into the front court, resets. Again, man to man defense by Piper. Johnson drops it in the lane, up and good. Quick start here for the Bobcats, 5 0 to start the ball game. Wayne working out top, drops out. Nice drive in the lane by number 22, Carly Zwart scores, puts a first bucket for the Piper, Piper Pirates. Rutherford out top, Garver drops it down low to Smith. Reach in by Shriver, another foul. Fourth foul here early for the Pirates. Base are set to trigger it in. Again, four quick fouls here in the first couple of minutes here for the Pirates. Bobcats real aggressive going to the basket. Good pass. Steal by Wayne. All the way to the bucket. Drops it to Mansaw. Short jump shot is long, but takes the foul from Garver. She'll shoot two. free throws from Mansaw. No good on the first. Second is good, make it a five to three ball game. Johnson will move into the front court. Johnson out top, drops it to Garver. 5'3", 4.52, first quarter. It's Haley White set to check in for Piper. Woolley moves into the front court against Johnson. Man-to-man -man defense still from Baser. Zwart call for a travel. Garver moves into the front court. Takes the screen out top. Smith with a jump shot is no good. Rebounded by Piper heading the other way. 5-3, 420. Still out top, cookies, Jamie Johnson. All the way to the bucket, no good. Off her head and out of bounds, back to Piper. <laughs> Wayne push, comes into the front court for Piper. Out top, 
White drives. Travel. Four minutes remaining here, first quarter, another foul on Piper. Foul stacking up now, five to two. Against the Pirates. Looking at the ability to shoot some free throws here early. First half, Johnson. She gets called for a travel. Refs tightening up here in the first quarter. Number five, Mariah Clayton checks in for Jamie Johnson. Wayne comes into the front court. Shriver down on the block. Almost still, Wayne picks it up. Short shot is no good. Gets her own rebound back up, no good. Baser player was on his top on the line. Out of bounds will stay with Piper. Still five to three with 335 remaining here first quarter. White set to trigger it in. Zwart out top to Woolley. Wayne travels. Amber Garver working against White. Gets all the way in the lane, drops it out. Three on the way, no good. Long rebound, playing by the Bobcats. Kara Stevens out top against Wayne with 3.13 remaining. Pass underneath is knocked out of bounds, will stay with Baser. Bobcats come in. Travel out top. Fifth travel call here in the first quarter. Jamie Johnson checks right back in for Amber Garver. Slow moving first quarter. A lot of whistles. Wayne comes into the front court. Turns in the lane. Cross court Shriver. Pull up jump shot is no good. Rebound by Stevens coming the other way. Jamie Johnson looks ahead. Baseline jump shot, no good. Out of bounds will stay with, check that, it'll be out on Piper. Um, the Bobcats go back to Piper. 245, first quarter, five to three. Baser leads. Wayne takes the screen. White. Driver at the elbow looking. Wayne spins in the lane. Double dribble. Sloppy play here by both teams to start out. Ref says something you don't hear very often. My bad. Ball was tipped, so they won't call that a double dribble. Saying they knocked the ball out of Wayne's hands. Turnover. Alex Gorman with a turnover. Mariah Clayton out top. Dribbling. Baseline drive. Good dump in the lane. Blocked by Wayne. Tie up up top. <laughs> Jamie Johnson in the corner. Crosses in the lane, up and good. Very nice move. Jamie Johnson makes the ball game seven to three. Here first quarter, 154 remaining. Wayne out top. 
drives into the lane, gets the foul, call it on the ground. Junior Amber Garver check back into the ball, into the ball game for Alex Gorman. Woolley out top, takes the screen, pulls three. Off the backboard, no good, rebound Shriver, stolen. Cookies once again, Jamie Johnson. Garver, man-to-man -man defense by the Pirates. Johnson block, up ahead. Wooley, who's able to finish at the rim to make the ball game seven to five with one ten remaining. Shriver knocks the ball out of way and out of bounds with a stay with the Bobcats. One oh five remaining, first quarter. Clayton set to trigger it in for the Bobcats. Rutherford travels. One minute remaining first quarter, seven to five. Baser leads. Wayne, baseline jump shot is no good. Another baseline shot is good by number 14, Megan Woolley. Token pressure by Pirates coming back the other way with 39 seconds remaining. Clayton takes the screen. Three on the way from Garver is no good. Rebound by Jessica Wayne coming the other way with 25. Wayne out top, three on the way. No good, off rim left. Maybe it didn't get rimmed through, 15 up ahead. Johnson for three, no good. With five, rebound Wayne. Shot on the way is going to be well short. Now to be the end of the first quarter, and we've settled nothing. 7-7, seven, seven, Baser and the Pirates. We'll be right back. David Brock's back live. Hyper Kansas. Piper will have the uh, ball to start the second quarter, triggered in to Wayne. Over to Mansaw. Drives in the lane again. Johnson, good hands out top. Not able to claim the steal. Cross court, stolen. Knocked away. We call a foul. Victoria Smith. Free throw on the way is good. 10-7, Piper. 
Jamie Johnson pushes up ahead to Garver. Down low. And get call for another travel. We might set a record here today. It's sixth or seventh travel of the game. Wayne will come into the front court with a three-point lead. Pirates settle down after a slow start. Takes the screen out top. Wayne drops it in the lane. Stolen. Jamie Johnson coming the other way. Cross court to Gorman. Back out top. Johnson to reset. Nice baseline drive. Up. No good. Out of bounds will go to Piper. Wayne will come into the front court. Seven, seven minutes remaining here in the half. Jamie Johnson coming the other way. Bounce pass up ahead to Gorman. They'll reset out top. Johnson crossover. Smith drives into the lane back out top. Gorman looked at three, turned it down. The pass over top is stolen by Tory Webb. Jessica Wayne coming the other way. Webb for three. No good. Mansaw, an offensive rebound. Is no good. Rebound Jamie Johnson for the Bobcats coming the other way. Reset with Rutherford. Cross court. Drive. Baseline up. No good. Rebound. Offensive. Back up again. It's good. And score 10 to 9. Wayne again. Jamie Johnson. Good hands. Causes the steal. Coming the other way on the break. Goes around the defender, can't finish. Got a push underneath. Foul will be on Gorman. Rutherford will take a seat. For the Bobcats, Connor Shriver set the check back in. Haley White. Double dribble. Caught on Megan Woolley. Go back the other way. Bobcats ball down one. Gorman dribbles out top, sets up the handoff to Jamie Johnson. Out top, number 14, Megan Woolley with some cookies out front. Wayne can't finish the layup. Schreiber fouled on the putback. She'll go to the free throw line. Free throws coming up, 10-9 ball game, 5-10 remaining first half. Shriver's first free throw is good. Gorman will come back in, get a full timeout for the Bobcats, and we'll be right back.
Our David Brock's back live. Sports highlights unlimited. Hindu Productions scores 11 to 9 with 5-10 remaining here. First half. Connor Shriver set to go to the line for her second free throw. First one was good. Free throw is no good, but offensive rebound claimed by Wayne Shriver. Elbow jump shot, no good. She gets her offensive board. Wayne will reset out top. Shriver. White turns down the screen, drives into the lane. Still, Bobcats. Offensive foul called on the Bobcats. Number 13, Kara Stevens. 441 remaining in the half. White set to trigger it in. Offensive foul called now against Megan Woolley. Stevens all the way to the buck basket. Can't finish. We're going the other way. Wayne. All the way to the baseline. Trap knocked out of bounds by the Bobcats. Samantha Rutherford will check in. Along with Courtney Payne for the Bobcats. She'll replace Victoria Smith, number 34. Haley White for the Pirates to trigger it in. She does to Wayne, cutting in the lane. Fadeaway shot is no good. Wayne struggling to finish here in the first half. Johnson coming the other way for the Bobcats. Cross court to Rutherford. Johnson takes it all the way to the bucket. Good. Ties the ball game at 11. Four minutes remaining to the half. Woolley. Haley White in the lane, shot up, no good, contested. Mansaw in the lane, she'll get fouled on the shot. Mansaw to the line for two, first on the way with 3.42 remaining in the half is short. No good. Second free throw. Crawls in front rim. Get the Pirates a one point lead here. McDowell checks in. Madison McDowell over to Jamie Johnson who will reset. Still man-to-man -man defense by the Pirates. Pick and roll is stolen. Taken back away though by the Bobcats, Jamie Johnson. They'll reset, Bobcats out top, Jamie Johnson. Calls out five, let's see what five is a pick. Out top high. Into the lane, no good, rebound, Jessica Wayne. Drives, three on two, Haley White, pull up jump shot, it's good. Two point number one. Mariah Clayton working against Haley White into the front court. Bobcats here down three. Crossover dribble in the lane. Short jump shot is no good, offensive rebound. Saved, claimed by the Pirates, Connor Shriver, Haley White now coming the other way. Wayne, all the way to the lane, up and good. Pirates setting up a five point lead now. Johnson, all the way to the bucket, no good. Wayne, rebound, doing work on the boards. 
Bucket up, good, and one. Jessica Wayne, the freshman. Carly Zwart and Jordan Wagner a check into the ball game here with 204 remaining. First half. As Wayne will go to the free throw line to finish the traditional three-point play. Extends lead to eight now as Piper's starting to really settle in here. Bobcat struggling to score the ball. Garver. Takes the long jump shot. Good. Very nice look there by Garver. 145 remaining in the half. Wayne. Haley White open. Turns down the three. Resets. Throws the ball out of bounds. Turnover. Unforced error. Ball will go over to the Bobcats. As Victoria Smith will check back in for Courtney Payne. Johnson now with 135 remaining in the half. Trying to work on this six point lead before. Johnson. Cross court Garver. Down low, Victoria Smith blocks Shriver. Wayne again claims another rebound. Haley White, Johnson will get called for the reach in. Two free throws coming up for Haley White. Baser after being down in team fouls. They've gone over 10 now here in the first half. Piper was able to settle down and adjust to the way the refs were calling the game. 20 to 13 now. Pirates lead with 110 remaining here in the first half. Stolen. White. Stolen right back though. We'll get a foul on Haley White. One and one coming up for Mariah Clayton of the Bobcats. First free throw is good. She'll get the bonus. Second on the way is good. Cuts the lead to 5, 20 to 15. One minute remaining here in the half. A little bit of a zone look here by the Bobcats. 1, 2, 2. Pirates settling down, see if they take the last shot. Wayne on the way, 3, no good. Offensive rebound, unable to be claimed. We'll go the other way. Pressure up front by Piper. Gets it in with 45. Garver now swarmed by the Pirates. Open jump shot on the way for the Bobcats is good. Samantha Rutherford. 30 seconds remaining in the half. Now a three point ball game as Haley White looks up at the clock. White working now with 15. Zwart picks up her dribble, drops it to Shriver. Wayne, jump shot, no good. Off rim left. Good hustle there by Jessica Wayne, unable to claim it. Back in bounds though with 4.1 remaining. The Bobcats that had the ball with a chance to cut into that three point lead. Johnson with four. Up ahead, Victoria Smith. Shot on the way is no good. And we're at the half. 20 to 17. Senior parents of Scholars Bowl basketball and bowling. If you have not picked up your Tiana flower, you can do so at the south 
admittance table just outside the gym. The south admittance table just outside the gym. You can see your friends in the middle of the Yeah, go ahead. That's the bar set up here. Yeah. Let me know when we're set, Mark. He said he's going to set up in the middle. I'm going to cue him when we're ready. We're talking here. We're setting up. We're going to do a Piper shake. That was it. So we got to get that same shot in the second half. Second ball game tonight will be the Bobcats boys game, obviously. The Piper Pirates have claimed the number one seed in the Tonganoxie substate. I understand also that the Bobcats may have claimed the second seed. I had the records wrong for Sumner Academy. They got credit for a couple of wins instead of just one, so they do have, they are in position to try and claim the third seed. Sumner Academy, Tonganoxie, and Bonner Springs all still vying for that third seed. Sumner Academy is not playing tonight. 
shaping up for some good KCK matchups there in Tonganoc in the Tonganoxi Substate for 4A. Piper has a tough matchup last week of the week against Lansing and they head up there. For the rematch, they were able to claim that first victory here at home against Lansing. The only loss on Lansing's record is the Piper Pirates. That's something to hang her hat on. coach here for Summer Academy in the house, Morris Letcher. Possibly going to play one of these two teams in the early round. So we've got Perry LeCompton, who likely would be the, the lowest seed. They'll come here Monday to face off against the Pirates, and then the remaining two games will be in Tognoxi. We'll likely be at the Tognoxi uh, site. We'll be reaching out to them to see if we can get those games. As the student section for the Piper Pirates starts to settle in, Watching patiently for the start of the second half. Yes, it is. 132 remaining in the half. Went to the end of halftime. Just under a minute now remaining before we start the second half of the girls game. Again, Piper leading, as you see on your screen, 20 to 17. Jessica Wayne, only one bucket. That I recall, only one bucket, I think she might have made. No, she had a three point play as well. So for five points, I can't quite see the scorebook, scorebook from here. Maybe look like for super freshman. Bobcats will have the ball here to start the second half. Stevens, Garver, Johnson, 
Rutherford and Smith start for the Bobcats. Same starting five as well for the Pirates. Mansaw, Webb, who's in foul trouble. Wayne, Shriver, and Woolley. Garver all the way to the bucket, up and good. Mansaw comes cross court Webb. Back to Mansaw, who'll take the elbow jump shot. No good. They'll call Amber Garver on the line and claim, give it back to the Pirates. Wayne claims out top, drives into the lane. Floater is no good. Rebound, Jamie Johnson. Garber, real aggressive, call a jump ball. Shot on the way is long, rebound Bobcats. Jamie Johnson coming the other way. 20 to 19, cross court. Stevens, corner jump shot is good by Rutherford. Webb out top. Good crossover in the lane, loses it. Amber Garver coming the other way. Stolen. Megan Woolley. Driver at the elbow, drops it back out top. Wayne. Mansaw drives. Webb on the baseline, resets back out top to Woolley. Good drive, good pass to Shriver. Gets poked away by the Bobcats. Good idea. Webb set to trigger it in. As the Bobcats now erase that three-point lead and take the lead here, 21 to 20. Six minutes remaining. Third quarter. Webb. Tough pass. Wayne can't handle it. Out of bounds. Back to the Bobcats now. Quick 4-0 run to start the second half. Pressure set up by Piper. Inbounds, Jamie Johnson. Two, two on two. Barber pull a jump shot, no good. Rebound, claimed by Wayne. Moving to the front court. Wayne up, no good, can't finish. Webb claims the offensive rebound. Back out top, Woolley for three, no good. Another offensive rebound by Webb. Back up, three seconds. That is the first three-second call I've seen this season. It still does exist as Garver comes into the front court, drops it to Smith, short jump shot is no good. Clint, rebound again claimed by Wayne. Into the open court, up and good. Five fourteen remaining. Turn around, Victoria Smith, Shriver. Smith will go to the line. Shriver swung through. We appreciate the staff here. Doug Key does a great job here for the Pirates, reestablishing his basketball program under Steve Wallace and Shane Stout. And on the ladies' side as well, Smith's first free throw is good. Second free throw coming. Tie ball game. Smith is no good. Rebound, Shriver. Wayne coming the other way now for 
the Lady Pirates. Moves in the lane, spins up, block, Smith. Playing by Garber, now coming the other way. Gorman, back out to Garber Smith. Turns, Jamie Johnson goes cross court. Wide open is Gorman for three. Rebound by, offensive rebound by Smith and another foul. And a technical on Schreiber. Got a technical foul called on Shriver as well. They call two technicals. Two technicals caught on Shriver should be done. Maybe a hand gesture for the second one. I, d I saw her hands go up. I didn't know which finger that was, but we'll have to see. So we got two free throws for Smith. Then we have a total of four free throws by a player of the baser coaching staff's choice. Big opportunity now if they can knock down some free throws here in this tie game. Smith, second free throw. We just got confirmation from the ref. She did flip him off. The one finger salute. Actually, she used two fingers, so that makes it a double finger salute. Second free throw was good. They'll have Smith go ahead and shoot the technicals as well. A double finger salute. It was not just good enough to use one hand in that situation. Smith knocking down the free throws. I'm a little confused about how many she's getting here. Good. I think she got a total of six. So that's a four point swing and they get the ball. We'll have to see now how the Pirates react here. That could fire up a team. Or the Bobcats now can take momentum. Seven point swing here in the second half. Drive to the bucket, foul. Called on number 22, Carly Zwart. Alex Gorman will go to the line now to shoot two. Coach Tattenhorst would have to love that. Build a lead from the free throw line. First is on the way, good. Five free throws here within a couple of seconds for the Bobcats. Second free throw is short. Tie up. Stay with the Bobcats. Another possession for the Bobcats here. 429 remaining in the half. We do have a clock, I see. In the lane, Smith up, no good. Rebound, Webb. See if Wayne is able to settle him down here and get a bucket. She drives and takes the bump block by Kara Stevens. Wayne out top. Webb 
set to trigger it in. 27-22. Piper needs a bucket here. Wayne a pull from three, long off rim. Actually off backboard. Johnson, cross court, Garver underneath. Can't finish, out of bounds. Saved in, Bobcats claim out top, reset with Johnson. Three on the way from Garver. Short. Kicked out again, Gorman blocked. Wayne. Woolley now moving to the front court. Wayne, good pass to Webb underneath. No good, can't finish. Woolley, short jump shot is no good. Again, Webb with a rebound. They claim out top. Wayne in the lane, nice move. Up, good. Timeout, Shane Stout, full timeout. Staver Brox will be right back. Guy Brian Watson in the house. Moses Wyatt. Seven twenty-four. At the conclusion of this game, we will have our cookies player of the game, as promised. Ball is triggered in. Jamie Johnson goes up top. Gorman into the front court. Garver, man saw a hold and man-to-man -man defense from Piper. Gorman, Wayne. Can't claim. Good hands, though, by Wayne. Almost got those cookies. Gorman can't handle. Out top. Reset with Garber. Rutherford. Out top to Clayton. Back to Garber. Working some clock here. Baser looking for a good shot. There's a steal. Mansaw. Up against Johnson, she'll pull up. Jump shot, no good, rebound. Barbara but Wayne. Active hands. Gorman. Barber in the lane, good pass. Rutherford able to finish. Wayne spins. Webb, 156 a reset. Pull up, jump shot, elbow, no good. Rebound, Garver. Bobcats with another bucket, 31-24. Huge third quarter here for the Bobcats. Webb, baseline drive, cross-court pass, good pass to Zwart. He finishes. Much needed bucket. Garber, out top as I talk to athletic director Doug Key. Again, good friend of the site. We really appreciate him and the staff. Jamie Johnson will pull three on the way short. Jessica Wayne again on the boards. Real active. All the way to the bucket, up. Can't finish. Tough night for the freshman finishing around the rim.
Again, a huge third quarter here for the Bobcats. Down three at the half. Now thanks to the double technical on senior Connor Shriver. That is the difference in the ball game now, those free throws. As Wayne comes into the front court now to work down the third quarter. Wayne out white, three on the way, no good. Offensive rebound. Wayne will pull three, top of the key. Good. <laughs> Jamie Johnson will come into the front court. Rutherford block. Wayne coming the other way with two. Tries to get a shot off and be no good. We got a two point ball game going into the fourth quarter. And this is David Brox. We'll be right back. NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. David Brock's back live, sports highlights unlimited. First game of the night, double hitter. Face for Linwood Bobcats, facing off against the home team, Piper Pirates. Two point lead for the Bobcats. We're down three at the half, big third quarter. Jessica Wayne with a huge game for the Pirates. They'll have the ball here down two, start the fourth quarter. Webb set to trigger it in to Wayne. We're set, fourth quarter, who wants it? Stolen, Jamie Johnson going the other way. Up, blocked by Wayne, recovered by a Bobcat. Up back in the good, number 25, Madison McDowell. Extends the lead for the Bobcats. Lazy pass, Jamie Johnson doing work for the Bobcats. Zwart. Resets Woolley out top, loses handle, able to recover. Johnson called for the reach in. <laughs> Webb set to trigger it in. Back court, no cross court. The white dangerous pass. Do keep possession. Webb. Top cross court. Zwart will take three. No good. Another offensive rebound by Woolley. Able to put it in from the baseline. As Piper now sets up some pressure in the backcourt. Rutherford. Tip. Active hands by Pirates. Smith in the lane. No good. Rebound. Zwart. Drop to Webb. Wayne now in the front court. Pull up jump shot. No good. Defensive rebound, no claim by the Bobcats. Clayton comes into the front court. Rutherford to take a jump shot. No good. Rebound Webb. Wayne up ahead. Haley White. Reset. Cross court Webb for three. Banks in the three to take the lead for the Pirates. Thirty second timeout by the Bobcats. Thirty
26-21 remaining. Piper Pirates after being down as many as, I believe six was five at one point, but now have come back and taken the lead behind Jessica Wayne. She's been all over the court. Barber moves into the front court, drops it down low, up, no good, rebound Webb. Zwart. Off to Wayne. Out top now. Haley White. Offensive foul. Bad screen. Illegal screen. Back to the Bobcats now. Piper will set up the pressure in the backcourt. Wayne against Garver. Clayton, dribble out of the clock. Jamie Johnson, hit back into the corner to Rutherford. Barber, pump fake in the lane, drives. Again, active hands by Wayne will get a tie up. Ball will go back to the Bobcats. Mansaw checks back in for Webb. Webb, good third quarter there, active on the boards. Smith catches in the lane, drops it out to Garver. Good position by Smith, hole by Zwart. Victoria Smith doing a real good job on the post. Victoria Smith, the 5'11 junior. Hit those free throws early in the third quarter. First one is going to be long. Offensive rebound put back in. Mariah Clayton, a sophomore, making a contribution here for the Bobcats to reclaim the lead. Wayne out top now. Zwart out top, White. Set Wayne, sets the screen. White will drive all the way up, no good. Rebound Smith, Jamie Johnson. Gets the outlet and pushes into the front court. Garver take the jump shot. Good, banked in. Amber Garver. <laughs> Jessica Wayne. Mansaw in the lane, off backboard, no good. Victoria Smith claims the board. Jamie Johnson. Good pass down to Garver. Foul, good. And one for Amber Garver. Traditional three-point play coming up for Amber Garver. No good. Rebound, Jessica Wayne. Huge all-around game for Wayne. Drops it out to Woolley. Swart for three. No good. Rebound by Wayne. Back up and good. Johnson in her front court. Rutherford will take three. Foul by Mansaw. She'll get three free throws. Every time Piper gets close, the Bobcats have an answer. Mariah Clayton with three free throws set. First on the way is long, but rolls in. Friendly roll. Baser's done real good at the free throw line. Shot on the way. Good. And the lead goes to five. Third free throw is good. All three free throws made there. Big free throws by Mariah Clayton. Sophomore making a big contribution, as we said a little bit earlier here in the fourth. Mansaw now in the corner, reset with Webb.
Mance on the corner. Dwart in the lane. Gets the foul. She'll go to the line for two. First free throw is good. 19 fouls for Piper. Just the fourth foul there for Baser here in the second half. So the Bobcats will be going to the line for the rest of the way. Second free throw from Zwart. It's good. Full court pressure now from the Pirates. Garver moves into the front court. Drops it down baseline, bad pass. Swartz still. Woolley coming the other way for the Pirates. Should drive all the way to the lane. Up, good, count it. Rutherford turned away instead of taking the charge. They'll count the bucket. And Woolley now have opportunity. Free throw is good. Haley White will check in for Mansaw. Young sophomore, young team here for Piper. Jessica Wayne played the whole game pretty much here today. Haley White a sophomore. Tori Webb a junior. Zward is a junior as well. Only two seniors on this squad. Garver, guarded by Wayne, she'll take the three. No good off rim. Webb again on the rebound. Wayne will come into the front court. Gets the shot up and good. Timeout. Bobcats as the Piper Pirates go on another run to claim the lead. And we'll be right back. Slow down and move over. And move over. Can you see lights? Vests. I'll be flagged over. Please, give us some room. Slow down and move over. When you need us. We've got your back. You have ours. You got our back? You got ours? You got our back? Please, slow down. And move over. Live sports highlights on limited game one of two. Very good ball game here between the Lady Bobcats and Pirates. Game has been back and forth. The Pirates led by three at the half. Trail by two or three, I believe, at the end of the third quarter. Piper set up full court pressure. Rutherford will drop it to Johnson, who moves into the front court against Woolley. Crossover. Handoff. Clayton into the corner. Garber, Victoria Smith underneath. Foul. She'll go to the free throw line. Foul on Webb. Pirates haven't had an answer for her down low. She's done real good. Also done a real good job at the free throw line, too. She'll get an opportunity here to reclaim the lead for the Bobcats. And she shoots two. First on the way is good. Second free throw from Smith. This is good. Well done, Victoria Smith at the free throw line. Refreshing to see free throws made at this level. Woolley. Reset now with a one point deficit. Webb. Out top to Wayne. Pull up jump shot is good. Freshman taking over. Garber now in the backcourt against Wayne. Pressure over to Rutherford who goes into the front court. Drops it to Jamie Johnson. Near steal, hands on the ball by Wayne. Victoria Smith, free throw line, jump shot, no good. Haley White boxes out well and claims the rebound and comes the other way now with a one point lead. Wayne. 
Ward back out top web. Ward web now for three on the way. No good. Rebound Victoria Smith. Stolen all. Oh, they get his hands in. Foul on the hand by Wayne. That will send Victoria Smith back to the line for two free throws where she has been very good tonight. Again, goes to the line with an opportunity to reclaim the lead. Back and forth we go here, fourth quarter. Shooting back to line number 145, as you do see on your screen, Smith's first free throw is good. Huge second half here for Smith. Second free throw is good. Back and forth we go. Wayne coming into the front court now with 140 remaining. Wayne spins in the lane, can't get it up. Thrown out top, stolen. Victoria Smith, Jamie Johnson coming the other way. Garver up, no good. Go to the line for two. Foul stacking up for the Pirates now. A lot of fouls here on Piper here in the second half. Garver's first free throw is good. Again, Baser standing in this game, leading this game with free throws. Timeout, full timeout. We'll be right back. The next great entrepreneur is out there. A person with a passion to turn an idea into a business, create jobs, grow the economy, and change the way we live, work, and play. The next great entrepreneur is out there. Will it be you? An entrepreneur with an idea can change the world. Get started now at willitbeyou.com. Moses Wyatt in the house. Brian Watson in the house as well. I'm David Brox. We are in Piper, Kansas. The most western part of Wyandotte County. We're set here at 131. Garber will go to the line for a second free throw. Pacers lived at the free throw line here in the second half. Second free throw again, good by the Bobcats as they push the lead to three. White out top, drops it to Webb. Wayne drives baseline, floater up, no good. Tipped away, claims her own offensive rebound. Zwart in the lane, gets fouled, and she'll go to the free throw line. Just the sixth foul, though, for the Bobcats, but she will get two on the shot. First free throw is good. Both these teams shooting real well from the free throw line. We have a two-point ball game. Free throw, second one is good. Sub, Mansaw in for def defensive purposes, takes the place of Haley White. Get another sub for the Bobcats. Alex Gorman will check in for Kara Stevens. Alexander Smith. Alexandria, Victoria, sorry, Gorman, dribbles cross, Mansaw handoff, Garver, down low, Smith, in the lane, lefty, up, no good, rebound, Wayne, down one with a minute, driving, drops it to Mansaw, out top, Wart, turns and hands it to Mansaw, 
Clock runs down here to get it to Wayne against Gorman. Timeout, full timeout. Coach Stout. I will see if I can get. Nineteen points, I think I, I count up here for Jessica Wayne. Huge game for her. Victoria Smith has lived at the line for the Bobcats, making a lot of free throws in the third and fourth quarter. As the crowd files in. Side, just that free throw line, just inside the free throw line. See who his go-to player is, you would assume it's Wayne. Dwart will trigger it in. Victoria Smith of the Bobcats on the ball. It is Wayne out top. Takes the screen, Wayne drives, pick and rolls, Dwart in the lane, doesn't get the call. Underneath, possession arrow is with the Pirates. And they will have the ball just under 34 oh, seconds. Right. 30-second timeout for the Pirates. As they again talk about strategy. Down ball underneath. Need the bucket. Once again, we will be hosting Sports Highlights Unlimited. First, hopefully annual, KCAL versus KBL All-Star Game. We will be picking seniors from both leagues to participate in All-Star Game. We will have a, a girls and boys team. We will have a dunk contest, a three-point contest, and we got some ladies signed up now for the three-point contest. I ordered the trophies today. We'll have an MVP of each game, and a trophy will be presented to the dunk contest winner three-point contest winner of both of the uh, girls and the boys. So it should be a fun night, March 29th, KCK Community College, and Swart triggers in to Wayne, who drives. Gets across, bucket good by Wayne. With 31. Opportunity to make it a two-point ball game. Twenty-one points, unofficially. For Jessica Wayne, the freshman, shot up, no good, rebound, almost lost, out of bounds, timeout, Bobcats with 28.8, .8. full timeout, we'll be right back. What can one do? One gift of $3 each week can make 15 nutritious meals for a family of four. One hour of time can make all the difference in a home, a classroom, a clinic, or in the world. Even one voice can right a wrong or inspire other voices and change history. Live knowing one can change the world. Live united. One point ball game with 28.8. fourth quarter. Coach, taking horse, and I'm sure I'm butchering Jason's name here. We'll see what he drew up there in the huddle for the Bobcats. Jamie Johnson is definitely willing to take that big shot. Piper will pick up full court again. Ten fouls, so any fouls against the Piper Pirates will send the Bobcats to the line for two. They will guard full court, and they will trigger it in to Johnson. And it will be Woolley who will face off against her. We'll see if they play it down for one or try and get a good one as quick as possible. Wayne out top against Amber Garver. Back to Johnson with 15. 
drives all the way to the bucket. Wide open layup is no good. Rebound. Both hands tie up, stay with the Bobcats. Wayne cannot clear the board. She had the ball, but Jamie Johnson. Two candidates. I'll say it now. It depends on which one gets it. Whoever wins the ball game, Jessica Wayne or Jamie Johnson would be the player of the game. Was we're down to 10.1. Boys are set. Come on to the court for warm ups after this game is over. We'll see now. Almost same situation. Both coaches get two opportunities to draw a place. We got the replay here. They call it jump ball. Nobody really had it there as we check the replay. First replay of the night. My guy Todd Henderson must be in the box. Jamie Johnson wide open. Layup, wasn't able to finish. Gorman triggering in. Johnson goes up, no good. Hands by Mansell will stay with the Bobcats with 6.2. Gorman triggers in. Three on the way is blocked by Wayne. Blocked again by Mansell. Shot up, no good. Rebound Webb and the parents. We win the ball game, 49-48. We'll see if we can't get coached out. Jessica Wayne up. We'll call the player of the game. She played fantastic all phases of the game. There we see the replay there. A couple of blocks. Maybe we'll run that one more time. Here we go. That's the missed free throw. And here's Gorman underneath. Garver was in the corner, blocked by Wayne. by a couple. Got Jessica Wayne here. Arc. So I have a deal that I'm starting right now, starting today. I'm David Brox with Sports Highlights Unlimited. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Big freshman year for you. How, how are you thinking about the season so far, fitting in with your new squad? I think we're doing really good. We have a lot of teamwork. Everyone's working well together. And I feel like we got a lot of wins this season. You got a all around game. Had a lot of steals, so what we do is we have a player of the game, and we say when you steal the ball, you take cookies, uh -huh. cookie monster. <laughs> so your reward, we don't do trophies, but we do have some, my favorite, Oreo cookies <laughs> for the player thank of the game. You. So share those with your teammate. We appreciate it. All right, and thank we'll see you. you down the road. Good game. All right, thank you. We got Coach Stout coming in. All right, we're here with Coach Stout, David Brock. Tough, exciting game there at the end. You can't hear? Okay. You hear me now? Gotcha. So, what, I mean, a real exciting game back and forth. You guys had the three-point lead at the uh, end of the half. During the third quarter, you struggled a little bit with the free throws and everything. What do you think about the ball game? Well, we didn't play particularly smart. Uh, we were up eight right there, I think 19 to 11 with a couple minutes to go uh, in the half, and uh, Megan Woolley had two fouls, so I just felt like, you know, let's sit her, not pick up her third foul before halftime, but she's really our floor leader. Thought we did, made a couple silly mistakes right there before halftime, and like you said, now we're only up three at half, and give Baser credit, man, they play defensively 
uh, just as well as anybody in our league. And uh, tonight, I thought they shot they shot free throws very well. And uh, hats off to them. And um, I'm real proud of our girls. We we could have folded. We had uh, you know kind of a bad situation. We put ourselves there in the middle of the third quarter. And what did we get down? Five or six? We were down five just off the free throw. Okay, you know, so we got down five. And we kept battling back. And then even there with a minute left, we're still down three or four. Uh, Executed an inbounds play just perfectly like we wanted to. And Jessica Jessica ended up getting a three-point play. Well, she missed the free throw, but got to the – made the basket, got to the free throw line. And, uh, uh, you know, here at the end, good defense is staying there. I mean, it could have probably gone either way. But uh, uh, we'll take the wins as we get them. The – tough thing is now it's going to come down to a coin flip and uh, uh, if we lose the coin flip we're going to be playing baser again next week on on this home floor so I sure hope we win that coin flip because I have a lot of respect for coach Tack and Horace and uh, their program. If you don't win who do you who do you get then? Well uh, it's either Sumner or uh, baser and and uh, no disrespect to Sumner at all we just don't want to play a league school again for the third time is is what I was getting at so uh, you know we don't we, we've seen them. We beat them in overtime, and then we beat them tonight by one point on our home floor. We definitely don't want to, uh, uh, you know, have that kind of uh, a team that knows everything. And, and, and Sumner will provide a different challenge, and it's sometimes nice and fresh to play uh, somebody we haven't seen all year. But either way, you know, uh, we've won five ball games in a row now. I was going to say, you guys are getting real hot right we're now. We're seven and one. In our last eight, we're seven and one, and our only loss is at Mill Valley. So Which is uh, not, nothing to be ashamed young, of. Young team that's really. Uh, we, were, we were struggling kind of five and six in the middle of the season, and now uh, we're 12 and seven. So a nice little stretch here. It's senior night tonight. We'll celebrate that here in about 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, I really like the way things are going. We got a young group, but they're really battling. And, uh, uh, you know, I know you spoke to Jessica a little bit earlier. She had a heck of a ball game as well. But it was a team effort all around. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about Wayne. She kind of, I guess, as a freshman, you, you don't know what you have until you actually get her on the court. She handles the ball in real active hands and just all phases of the game, she's able to get things done. She really is. She, her, her stat lines are, are ridiculous. Uh, she's almost averaging a double-double. She's, uh, after tonight's ball game, her average coming in was exactly 15 points a game, so it's over 15 points a game now. Uh, she averages like eight rebounds, but then some nights she'll chip in seven block shots and, and eight or nine steals. She's been close to a quadruple-double on a, on a couple nights, and, and Honestly, uh, just looking at the stat line, um, in the years that I've done that, I, I've had some good players, but not that well-rounded in all yeah. aspects like you just mentioned. And she handles the ball well. Uh, you know, and not only that, but here at the end, she's taking a crunch shot with five seconds left in the game and uh, is not afraid. So um, this summer she played with us, and, and we thought, man, she's going to help us. But uh, she is a nice player and has just gotten so much better. And, uh, you know, we look forward. We got a good freshman group too. Some other freshmen that uh, aren't, aren't up to the varsity level yet. So we really look forward uh, to the future and, and what we're building here. But with that said, uh, we got a big game Friday at Lansing, and you know we want to we want to keep this rolling. And, and uh, you know what a perfect time to kind of be rolling along. And uh, we know that it only takes one bad game and your season's over quick. But uh, uh, we like where, the direction that we're headed in. Absolutely, Coach Dow. We appreciate All you right. coming on. Thank Congrats you. Congrats on the victory. Thanks for the coverage. Mr. David Brox. We'll be right back. Take my hand and start a brand new day And together as one we'll start to see some change Underneath everything we are, underneath everything we do, we are all people, connected, interdependent, united. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. Division I student athletes have higher SAT and ACT scores than college-bound students. The number of us receiving diplomas is at an all-time high. African-American males who are student athletes are 10% more.